Goku advanced through the palace of the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Meanwhile, on Planet of Destruction in Universe 7, Beerus began to analyze everything that was happening. At that moment, Vegeta had teleported himself to the Planet of Destruction and was still carrying out training alongside Whis. At that moment, Vegeta says, It's been a long time since Kakarot ended up leaving here. Does that mean he managed to get Beerus into a trap? Looks like things are going to get a lot more complicated around here, Mr. Whis. I don't know who is really right, but the God of Destruction decided to attack Kakarot, and Kakarot did nothing for them. We start stalking. I understand, Mr. Vegeta, but it seems that the Gods of Destruction begin to have a vision of the Oracle Fish that a Saiyan could destroy everything in the future. They made an association that would be Mr. Goku, since because of him the Tournament of Power took place. That tournament of power caused great catastrophes and had great concern with everything that would happen. Mr. Goku managed to get stronger and stronger. He even managed to defeat Moro. Moro, the one who was a supreme being who had already finished and destroyed everyone. That devourer of words, just like a god of destruction, Moro just swallowed planets. While the gods of destruction eradicated them. Now he wanted to overcome a god of destruction. He managed to raise his strength more and more until the moment he reached extremely scrupulous levels. But that wasn't enough for Son Goku. Son Goku managed to defeat him. Over time, we saw that Granola and Gas had requested to the dragons of their universes for them to become the most powerful beings in the universe. And then so, Lord Vegeta, you, alongside Goku, managed to become more and more powerful. Don't you find that a bit strange? Vegeta begins to reflect. At that moment, a loud bang starts to appear. On the planet of destruction, Vegeta starts to watch and says, <clears throat> What is this? At that moment, we starts to laugh and says, <laughs> It seems like he's finally breaking free. A large crater opens on the planet of destruction. And at that moment, a large temporal rift opens in the sky. From this temporal rift, a transition of time and space appears. And who appears is Beerus, the Destroyer. And he says, Damn it, Son Goku! How dare you trap me in this empty dimension! I will destroy you! <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Beerus had gone loose. At that moment, Vegeta starts to observe and says, Does it mean that Kakarot was able to trap Mr. Beerus the Destroyer in that empty dimension? This really is something unreal. Looks like things are going to be more complicated now. But Mr. Beerus certainly didn't want to kill Kakarot. If he used his Supreme Hakai form, he certainly knew what he could reach. He got his highest level. Beerus begins to observe and speaks. Wow, Whis, are you getting another Saiyan here? Whis responds. Mr. Beerus, I don't understand you. After all, you were Mr. Vegeta's real trainer. He learned Ultra Ego from you. <laughs> At that moment, Beerus starts to reflect and says, Why am I doing this? I cannot understand. <clears throat> After I decided to make the decision with the gods, everything seems to go crazy. Eras speaks. Vegeta, get off this planet. I have nothing against you. At that moment, Vegeta starts to laugh and says, <laughs> If Kakarot managed to trap you in another dimension, I will be able to do that too. After all, I am more powerful than that worm. I want to test my powers. At that moment, we starts to laugh and says, <laughs> It looks like Beerus, the destroyer of Universe 7, is being underestimated by more mortals. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have fallen into that trap, Mr. Beerus. <laughs> At that moment, Beerus observes and activates his Supreme Hakai form and teleports himself in front of Vegeta with a face of who is going to perform the Hakai, and says, Vegeta, don't you dare try to face me again. Today I confess to you that I'm not in my best days. 
but I'm already reflecting on the decisions of the gods of destruction. Maybe they are not the most correct. A time that I stopped directly in the empty dimension. Could I understand what Goku must have gone through? Perhaps the decision to act before Goku has done something and blame the mortal before he has committed a crime becomes something wrong. That crazy Goku Black decided to cause all the destruction and make all that catastrophe. Being that he was Zamasu, as we learn of Zamasu's decisions for Trunks' future, we were able to finish him off in the present. But now, things are different. Goku is not wrong in the decision. That's why he fought against me without thinking of anything, without caring about anything. But I don't know. We don't know if Goku is turning to something good or bad. If it is something bad, then he is a target for all the gods of destruction. There are gods of destruction with weaker levels. But there are other gods who are stronger, more adulous. To get to them, things will be more intense. But now I can see. I can remember everything Goku did for those planets. All this time that I've been sleeping for 53 days. The Earth and every other universe has passed through intense complications. Maybe it's time to return Goku a favor for what he did. Without letting anything go unbalanced. I will train you one more time, Vegeta. And we will end this intrigue between the gods. Whoever it is, we are going to defeat the gods of destruction. Until the moment we find Goku in your journey. Vegeta begins to observe and speaks. That's the decision of the god of destruction of Universe 7. Whis begins to observe and says, It seems like there's a drawback to every god of destruction's decisions. <laughs> Never imagined Beerus the destroyer to be back against the gods of destruction for a mortal. Interesting. Vegeta begins to be excited and says, That's right. Now I will be able to test all my powers against the god of destruction. At this moment on Universe 7, Goku walked through the next floor of the Palace of the Gods of Destruction Belmont. At this moment, Goku encounters himself with a known voice that says, I was waiting for you, Son Goku. Since the Tournament of Power. At that moment, Topo from Universe 11, the successor of the God of Destruction was in front of Goku. Goku smiles and says, I could have imagined that you would be here, Topo. A new battle is about to begin. With the two smiling, they prepare themselves to the fight. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe yet to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.